Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time to dive into a new first look. This time we're gonna check out the Voxel Turf. The developer of this game actually emailed me a couple of months ago, but I just didn't have the time to dive into new projects and thus it kind of went under my radar. However, today I was kind of in the mood to check something out. And looking at this game more closely, I realized just how awesome this is gonna be. We can build entire cities in this game, blow up the buildings or fight for territory. So besides actually being able to build voxel-based stuff, there's also some city management, some destruction, some fighting. It's absolutely insane. There are even logic gates in this game. I just love it. In this video, what I want to show you is the tutorial mode. This gives you a good overview of the features that are in the game. Now, if you really like what you're seeing here, you can voice that in the comment section and then we can also do a little series about it. And here we are within Voxel Turf. I have to say, despite of the simplicity, it actually looks quite nice. There's also police. So just like in GTA, if I steal this car right in front of the police, they're gonna go after me and I have to lose them. With our tap button, we can open this radial menu where we can see our inventory, we have diplomacy, map construction, blocks and items that we have, and the take and cash in missions. And this is how we turn in the missions. As soon as they are completed, you want to go into this menu and complete the missions. Now let's go back to available missions and we can see there are a couple of them right there. The first thing we seem to be learning is the block building. We have to go to the area and build a couple of blocks. Hitting the M button, we can actually see the map. And currently this is not a very large city. It is the tutorial city after all, but we can see our mission is right there. With shift, you can also sprint. And if you are in a vehicle, you will honk pressing it. All right, here we are in the building area and you can see it got actually ticked off. Place matching blocks on yellow squares. So in our inventory, we can already see if I scroll down on the right side, we have a couple of these blocks right here. And of course, we can place them with a left mouse click just like that. However, I made a little mistake here. We have to change their shapes. So let's switch back to the removal tool and actually get these blocks back. What we want to do is hold V and then scroll through the various shapes. With the right click, we can switch the orientation and then just place what we need. There we go. Here we got our L-shaped block and then we just need the column. And here it is. Magnificent. We completed the objective. Now imagine everything you can see in this city can be built using the various blocks available to you. So you could build this all by yourself and then start messing around with it. Let's go ahead and have a look at the missions. We want to turn in this mission and then continue with the vehicle tutorial. First things first, we want to get into this car that has been provided to us using E and continue to the mission area. All right, I'm just getting used to the steering a little bit. I think you can also run over people and with C you can kind of go into first person, but it is unfortunately not a cockpit view. Anyhow, let me make it back. Let me actually drive over this. Oh my gosh, she exploded. Anyways, let's hop out of the car. We want to get into this area. No trespassing. Whee! We get a helicopter. Let me get a piece of that. Hit the space bar. Easy to get up and control to move down, I guess. Oh no, actually V to move down. That is fine. Let's make it to the next waypoint. This is actually a pretty nice feeling for the helicopter. I just wish there was a mode further away with the camera. All right, all right, uh, let's actually get down. Ooh, ooh, not too fast, not too fast. Things tend to explode in this game. All right, so this is where we wanna be. This is the firing range. So we can actually also have a tank. Now, everything in this game, of course, costs money. You cannot just go ahead and get a tank right away. You will have to build up your territory. You will have to fight other gangs. You will have to purchase a state, etc., etc. But let's just see, let's just shoot this stuff away. Ah, yes, that's what I like to see. Come on, come on. Ooh. Can we also drive over here? Let me actually test this out. Can we move up here? Oh my gosh, we are actually just destroying the blocks there. But it's good to know. Uh, you know, every game like this should have at least one tank in it. So I'm gonna be curious how this is gonna be acquired through single player. I'm sure I'm definitely gonna play a little bit of single player even if you don't want to see how the sandbox mode works out in this game. Gameplay-wise, it seems to be very promising. 
Anyways, we did the mission, so let's turn that in and get the next one. Weapons and weapon mod tutorial. Holy cow, there is a spelling mistake. I didn't expect that. Good. We made our way to the weapons range. Now we need to get an assault rifle and destroy a couple of vehicles. Let's have a look into this storage container with E. We got an assault rifle and also a couple of gun mods. So let's get a scope mod and also armor piercing mod. And we also got a couple of magazines. I think you can have them anywhere in your inventory. So let's get out of here and we can hit the N button in order to apply our weapon mods. So let's go ahead and choose armor piercing for this guy and also a scope mod for this guy. We have two scope mods left. Good. Let's destroy a couple of vehicles. We can now shoot at this guy here, I think. Yeah, look at that. Already starts to burn. And we're just gonna blow up all of these cars, including the police car. There you go. Now get the shotgun and apply explosive mod and destroy the hay targets. So let's go ahead and have a look at this storage container. Yes, explosive mod. I'm gonna like that. So every shot with your shotgun is also gonna cause an explosion. I mean, what's not to love about that? Also, with your assault rifle, you can actually zoom in with the right mouse button. Just figured that out. Good, so uh, do we have to shoot? Yeah, the hate target, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at how the wall gets destroyed. Can I also pick up these blocks, I wonder? They seem to be just debris. Oh yeah, look at that. Reloading, reloading, one last shot. Oh, come on. There you go. I like how that turned out. Okay, let's turn in this mission. We have a shopping tutorial next. So there are a couple of stores that are of interest to you. All right, all right, coming in, coming in. There you go, beautiful. Perfect parking space. First of all, we have the hardware store. Let's actually have a look at those guys. Maybe put the gun away. Hello, can I uh, talk to you? This is the hardware store. Here you can buy and sell most blocks and decals. Can I help you? Yes, okay, we can buy some stuff. Look at that, hardware store. Here are all the blocks, including cables, letters, etc. Um, I mean, this is crazy. We have appliances and furniture even. Yeah, that's what I meant. Basically, everything you see here, you should be able to build yourself in some way or the other. So this has been the hardware store. Let's visit the general store. There's also a gun store, apparently, but I think we're gonna go over that later on. Check this out. Great stuff, but don't steal anything. There we go, this is the general store. Here you can buy some basic items. This building is cheap and has a low customer base, so it's good to build early on. Let's actually see what you have to offer. Buy, couple of blocks, decals, some food... Other items, yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff in this game. Oh, this is gonna be great. I really hope you're curious enough to want to see more of this. Well, there we go, the gun shop. We have been here already. I didn't see it was actually in the list, but this is the gun shop. You can buy and sell some weapons and explosives here. Bandits have a talent of getting to the good stuff first. You'll have to raid their bases to get it. Uh, okay, so in these stores, you can only get like tier one weapons and the very simple stuff. Maybe let's actually purchase another gun or see at least what they have. Ah, we also have some armor pieces. I'm actually interested in that. Basic armor, basic composite armor, and we have a singlet. Okay, good. Let's uh, purchase one basic armor. Yeah, there was the confirmation. Explosive crate, a detonator. Oh, look at that. Guns. Rocket launchers. Maybe we want to purchase a quad rocket launcher. Why the heck not? Quad rockets, let's purchase a couple of those. We can buy eight at a time, actually. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch of them. We we have the tutorial money, you know. Let's also see weapon mods. Can we actually use something? Armor piercing, scope mod, or silencer mod. Let's uh, purchase one silencer mod and actually try to apply that. Silencer mod goes on the assault rifle. Oh, I can do that. Maybe you can only apply two mods at a time. But we now have a silencer on the shotgun. So that's pretty good as well. Well, last but not least, we have the shiny store, the jewelry store. I wonder what they are gonna do for us. This place pays a premium for any jewelry that you find. There are also other places where you can buy and sell things from, such as metal things at smelters and wooden things at sawmills. I just heard a couple of gunshots. I'm actually not sure what is happening here, but let's talk to this person as well. So I guess you get some random jewelry loot. That will come in handy to get some quick cash. 
Oh, we have a whole bunch of quad rockets. I think we should actually test them out. Here is our rocket launcher. Let's reload it. I'm just gonna shoot. Uh, let's shoot this building here. Why the heck not? There you go. <gasps> Reckless weapon discharge. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. That's not mine. Um, let's uh, steal this car and try to get away. <laughs> Okay, so the cops were not really happy with my decision to test the rocket launcher. I can totally understand. I'm sorry, I have to go. I have to go. Uh, there we go. I cannot hear the sirens anymore. That is a good sign. But on the top left, we can still see that the police is after me. But there we go. We successfully got away from those bastards. Right, it's time to hand in the next mission. Let's do that. Turn it in. More missions. City building tutorial. Now, this is where the city management comes in. There we go. Let's park our car right in this parking space here. Great. So this is some vacant stuff here, some vacant plots that we can use to build our real estate empire. So how do we establish a base? Let's uh, have a look at this map and construction menu. We can see here are all the plots. We can select this plot, for instance, and convert it to our base for $500. Let's go ahead and do that. So now whenever we click on this thing, we can see the status of our base, a quick status. We can apply a couple of upgrades. We can add defenses, increase fortification levels, repair it, even save it as a template. So up next, what they recommend us is to build a factory at location three. So let's go ahead and do that. We want to buy a lot for 2000 here and then build a factory. Of course, we don't have to convert to custom building. We have to use the building menu up here and build some industry. What we want to choose, of course, is the factory. It will cost us $391,000. So yeah, you will have to go a long ways if you want to make it far in this game. But let's place this bad boy. Great stuff. And last but not least, we want to build brick apartments in this lot. So let's go ahead and do that. Housings. Brick apartment. So you can see there's quite a few things you can do in this game. There's industry, commerce, and uh, check this out. All these buildings with their functionality already ready for you. And if you want to go crazy, you can even build stuff yourself. We can also see that these buildings have been built immediately for us. So this seems to be the factory and it is actually also populated, I believe. There should be people in it. Yeah, right there. There are a couple of guys working, chilling out. It looks like Google in here. And uh, we also have traffic jams. I don't know why. This is the perfect parking space here. But yeah, I have to say, this is pretty great. No, actually, these are the... the no, I'm, I'm kind of confused. Maybe these are the housings and this is the factory. That makes more sense. All right, let's uh, turn in this mission as well and then check out what else we have. Bandit raiding tutorial. Oh, yes, accept that mission. We already have a weapon, so that's good. We need to capture the bandit base at bandit base. <laughs> I guess not all bandit bases are going to be called a bandit base, but... Let me actually make my way over there. Where's actually my helicopter? I wonder. Oh yeah, maybe one more thing I should tell you about is that you have a certain influence around your flag. Maybe that is actually explained later on in the tutorial, but you can actually select plots and then offer them protection in order to gain hourly income. So at the moment we have a reputation of minus 4.3 and it costs reputation to actually protect a place. So. We will have to do a couple of missions or kill bandits. I think that gives a lot of reputation. And maybe we lost some reputation for running over people or stealing a car in front of the cops. I'm not really sure. But there we go. This seems to be the bandit hideout here at the edge of the map. Good. So can we actually just enter? Maybe we should get our gun ready. Should we go with the rocket launcher? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Door? No, doesn't open. I guess we will just have to blow it open. Ah, look at that. Okay, we can maybe scope one of the guys. Let me see. Yeah, scope you out. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Gotcha. Gotcha a little bit. Show yourself. Ah, there we go. Oh, he was shooting. Like, reload, reload. I have 500 bullets. I'm ready for you. Ah, there we go. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Great. So maybe let's just blow a hole in here. Where's my rocket launcher? Oh. I should wear my vest. Can I actually do that? Armor. There you go. Mm, I can also have a hat. But I guess it's time to just blow up the sign. Look at that. Here they are. Okay. 
Are they coming for me? Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, oh, oh no, no. Reload, reload. Um, do I have enough health for this? Okay, okay. She, she blew up. And you, come on. Ah, 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 ah. She blew up as well. That's great. And uh, also some money. Can I, how do I pick stuff up? Ah, I think I got it. Okay, there are more, more. I think it's time for the shotgun. Oh yeah, do be proud. Ah, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 uh, I'm low. Why? Where's my... Where? Ah. Okay, first encounter I had, not very successful. But we can uh, click on our base in order to respawn. And we're gonna do this again. Alright, it looks like the stuff is still blown up here. So we're just gonna go for a little sneak attack. Well, that was less sneaky than I wanted. Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing with me? Oh, no, no, I reloaded accidentally. It's kind of hard to tell whether or not you hit them most of the time. Okay, now I had to reload. He's killing me again. I don't believe that. There we go. But let's switch back to our shotgun and we're gonna move in. 36 health. That's not a lot. Ah, there we go. Ah, beautiful. That's what I like to see. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I like to see. Ah, there we go. Okay, we are at 17 health. Oh, no, they respawn. So maybe I actually have to go in there for them not to respawn. All right, let me try this again. We're just gonna start to blow things. Oh, no. Oh, man, they took no damage at all from that. Oh, no. And they're gonna respawn right away now. Let's just move in with the shotgun and hope for the best. Yeah, one shot. Come on. Is there anyone else? I'm capturing your freaking base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anyone else? Okay, there are a couple of guys. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Come on. Yes, gotcha. Oh, okay, okay. We're claiming it. Oh man, my pulse is unusually high for a voxel-based game. But there we go. I think we got it. We're low on HP, 21 health. But we did capture it. And look at that, we gained 0.5 rep. So that's pretty good. Maybe we gain even more when we hand in the mission. Well, let's do the final thing right here. Establish a protection racket. So by the way, there are actually a whole bunch of missions if you are in the sandbox mode. You have tons of missions available every day. They go from fetching quests to stealing cars to protecting someone, freeing someone from bandits, etc, etc. So let's accept this mission here as well and just do it. I think I mentioned this before. We can open up the map and I should be able to move around here. And we're just going to choose something we want to protect that is going to give us a lot of money. Ah, look at that. We actually have five reputation for this mission. Yeah, we have to go for something smaller. Maybe one of these plots we can protect for 1.29 reputation. This is going to give us a $33 hourly income. That is practically nothing. 85 hourly income, 24 here. Here we got 51. Yeah, maybe let's do this one with 85. So we're just going to offer them protection. And there we go. We now probably have to do something when they get attacked. Of course, we can also buy all of the lots, so they actually belong to us. Why the heck not? But yeah, that is essentially what the game has to offer. And of course, you have to imagine that in a sandbox setting. So you actually are able to expand the city to purchase new plots, to build up a gang practically, or, or fight other gangs at least. But yeah, let's uh, actually hand in this mission, just checking if there's something else. Oh yeah, there's also a level up system. Completely forgot about that. But yeah, we essentially completed all of the missions, I think, and the tutorial is done in this regard. So let me know, what do you think about the game? Could you see yourself watching this for a couple of episodes at least and see how this all turns out in sandbox mode? Would be great. Let me actually reload my rocket launcher very briefly. Come on, reload, reload. I want to shoot. And oh, no, there are a bunch of people in the way. Ah, uh, oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the people were in the way. There we go. Police taken out. Oh no, no. Who's shooting? Who are you? Okay. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a great time. And hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.